We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right there Woo. Let me fix my curls You've tuned into Cali's world That's right, boys and girls Welcome to Cali's world Awesome! Playing with cars, just Kelly and me. Burning around the track, speeding through the mud. I take a left, er, I take a right, beep, beep. Whatever we do, it's all right. Cause I'm playing with cars with my friend Kelly. Whoa! Cool song, Chip! <laughs> Thanks! Hey, friends! As you can see, Chip and I are playing with cars. It's actually a demolition derby. But don't worry. Chip and I aren't running into each other's cars. No way! We're trying to get around the track as a team, avoiding all the other cars, trucks, monster machines, not to mention the ramps in deep, deep mud. But it can't stop us. Nope! Whoa. Look out, Chip! We're coming up on the big, huge, massive, biggest ramp of ever! Let's use it to jump over that school bus! Oh yeah! I see it! The crowd is going wild! And here we go! Woohoo! Oh no! Oh, no, no, no! The wheels fell off of your car! Oh man! What good is a car without wheels? Callie, can you fix it? Me? Yeah! I don't know. I've never fixed a car before. I usually just get help when my toys break. I don't know if I'm the right person for the job, Chip. I really think you can do it, Callie. You, you're super smart and really helpful. Maybe you're the perfect person to fix it. Hmm. I wonder. There's a wheel. And there's a wheel. And there are the other two. Uh, they're all here. Friends, I've never thought of myself as a fixer type of person. But maybe, like Chip said, I am the perfect person to help. I need to wonder more about this while we check out our Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Joshua, chapter 2. When the Israelites were about to enter the Promised Land, Joshua sent two spies to check the city out, called Jericho. The king of Jericho found out about the spies, so a woman named Rahab helped them hide. The king sent men to tell Rahab to bring those spies out of her house, but she said that they had left and that they should go after them quickly, which they did. Rahab had actually hidden the spies on her roof. Before they went to sleep, Rahab told the spies that the people in Jericho were scared. They heard about how great God was how God helped the Israelites cross the sea on dry land and win many battles. Rahab was certain that the God of the Israelites was the one and only God. Rahab asked the spies to make her a promise. When they came to over to her city, they would save her and her families. The spies agreed to this promise as long as she did not tell anyone about them. They told her to tie a red rope in the ribbon. This is how they would know it was her home. Only the people who were inside her house, when they attacked, would be spared. Since Rahab's house was part of the city wall, she let them climb down a rope out of the window and escape. She then tied the red rope in the window, just like they said. When the spies went into the city, Rahab was probably the last person they thought would help them. But she became a really big part of God's plan. So the next time you see an opportunity to help but don't know if you're right for the job, remember, God can use someone like me. That Bible story was just what I needed. Rahab didn't seem like the perfect person to help. But she was! And that makes me feel like I can be useful too! Chip, I'm gonna fix your car! Piece of tape! Piece of tape! Last wheel! Last wheel! What do you think, Doc? Is my car gonna make it? There's no easy way to say this, but... Vroom! Your car is back in business! Whoa! 
Thanks, Callie! See, I told you! You were the perfect person to help! Wow! I think you're right! Friends, do you ever feel like you don't know how to help? Or you'd be better off letting someone else help? Sometimes that's okay. But remember, just like Rahab found out, and I just found out... God can use someone... like me. Come on, Chip! Let's go get back to the demolition derby! Boom! You know what? I think my car is better than ever before! Let's go for that big, huge, massive, biggest ramp of ever again! This time, we're gonna jump that bus and roar to the finish! I'm ready! Let's go! Thanks for learning and growing with us, friends! Bye! Hebrews 10, 23 Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.